I hope someone finds this useful today. <laughs> this one is about handwriting, okay? So I don't know if anybody still handwrites. I know I did. I took this uh, sales copywriting course and we had to handwrite for an hour every day. And if I had to do the whole 60 minutes, I was usually pretty jacked up. Like my shoulder was pretty tight after writing and I, I kind of want to walk through why and I want to walk through um, why I wouldn't recommend just running right into deadlifting. So if you watched my last video, we talked about computer work and pushing your head forward to work on the computer so that you can see, so that you can focus maximally. It's a similar idea, except it's a different asymmetry. So instead of sticking my head forward and doing this, what I'm doing now is I'm tilting my head down and tilting my shoulder down and I'm writing like this. And so I don't want to deadlift like this if I can help it, right? So if I spend a lot of time writing, what I'm doing is I'm shortening this side. I'm shortening this ab wall, these intercostal muscles, and this whole side just gets closer together. Conversely, the left side here gets longer, okay? And it shuts down these abs. This is, you know, if you're a righty, if you're a lefty, it's probably, I don't know, it's a little grayer. You might be okay. Uh, we, maybe we can talk about that some other time. Um, but if I, do, if I do find myself stuck here writing, what can I do to undo some of that? Well, the biggest thing is you just gotta do some general movement. You can't just sit there and pin your shoulder down. You gotta do anything that gets you moving around. So when I have people warm up, I like to give them skipping exercises because it, it's like an acceptable way, a kind of acceptable way for you to start swinging your arms again. Uh, Cause most of the time we just keep them pinned in all day or they're pinned in to type or they're pinned in to write like this. I wanna get that moving. I gotta do anything that'll help you show off that armpit here so that side doesn't stay so tight, right? Um, when you're, when you're doing your skips, right? I like to do a little low skip just to get the rhythm and then a little high skip with a higher elbow like this. Make sure your elbow comes pretty high while you do that and that'll help you show off that, that armpit there. That's the, that's the kind of way that I think about this, I guess, the, the cue that I like to give people. Um, handwriting, short ab wall, skip. What else can I do? Again, anything to show off this armpit. So another one that I like. Um, anything that gets me reaching this right arm up. So the first one that I'm going to say is a hang from a bar. If I grab a pull-up bar and I let my arms hang down, then my arms, or I let my body hang down, my arms get longer, right? And it kind of distracts the shoulder, it pulls the shoulder open. That can alleviate some of the tension. I wanna make sure though, that when I'm doing that, I see a lot of people trying to do it this way. You're not making your shoulder any longer that way. You have to exhale, round your low back out, and get everything um, in this you know, straighter alignment. That way your abs can turn on and they can pull down on all these this long area while the uh, the bar is pulling your arm upward and that will stretch some things out. That's like a, a passive way to go about it. Another active way you could do overhead pressing or maybe landmine pressing with a bar like in the corner of the wall. Uh, you just got to make sure that you get this nice little extra reach, right? You don't want to stop here. You got to finish the whole movement. And then a uh, third example that I could do, I could even uh, do a plank, but take my, my writing hand and reach it up like this, okay? So when I do that, again, I'm showing this armpit off. Those are just some ideas for you to try out. If you do, if you're the last person on earth that spends a lot of time handwriting, uh, I don't want your back to hurt while you're deadlifting, right? And if I deadlift like this, I'm gonna torque myself. That's just how physics works. So let's undo some of the, the physics that has you pinned in and get you moving a little bit more freely.